Welcome to my channel. The Colorado University football team has self-reported 11 violations to the NCAA. That's what I want to talk about. But before I do that, I have to thank each and every one of you that comes to my channel. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for watching my videos. And thank you most of all to all of you that have subscribed to my channel. I really, really do appreciate it. So this news came across my desk. Deion Sanders and the Colorado football team self-reported 11 minor NCAA violations. So naturally I felt compelled to read about them because I wondered what in the world did they do? Um, here's the first one. More than 350 players participated in Colorado's postgraduate camp in May, which was open to high school graduates and transfers who had entered the portal. However, seven of those who participated did not have an active status in the portal, which was a violation of a rule that prohibits tampering. <laughs> Colorado imposed a two-week recruiting ban in June as a penalty and also enacted a one-day recruiting ban on all activity with transfer recruits in December 2023. The football staff was also required to take part in rules education and the seven recruits who didn't have an active status were declared permanently ineligible at Colorado. The problem stemmed from not forcing camp participants to certify that they were in the transfer portal. <laughs> Another transfer portal violation occurred a few days later after Sanders was hired when a high school coach submitted an academic transcript for a transfer recruit even though he wasn't yet in the transfer portal. The issue put the program at risk for violating the NCAA's tampering rules and the recruitment of the player in question was immediately put to an end. I bet that player really appreciates what his coach did for him. <laughs> but you know, as you read through these, and I'm not, I'll am not i put the link in the description, you can read the rest yourself, but as you read through them, the thing that comes to mind, to my mind, is these rules are so arcane, I don't know how anyone, how anyone could be aware of them. They obviously have to have somebody full-time on staff who just is a specialist in the rules. It's that ridiculous. <laughs> so... <clears throat> Suffice it to say that uh, everything on here is minor. Everything was reported by the Colorado staff. And so there's not going to be any sanctions or anything like that against Colorado. It's just uh, growing pains, I would call it. Getting used to the college game and all the rules the NCAA has in place. So that's my news for that. I didn't want to make this very long because I've got a couple other videos to do today. So I hope you appreciate me bringing you that news and giving you the link so you can read the whole thing if you're interested. As for my viewers, I, I pray that God will give you an abundant life, that he'll give you long life and good health, and that he will keep you safe from harm. I pray that he'll do the same for every person that you love. And I also pray that you'll be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you will make your requests known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Era Vet, out.